Hi guys, I'm Tom PB and welcome to the second in our series of V tutorials in partnership with Vidarazzi and Parajet. In tutorial two, we will walk you through the recommended fuel, the recommended oil and how you mix these correctly. The reason the subject of fuel mix is important is that the Vidarazzi, Mostel or Atom engine that you have purchased is a two-stroke engine and therefore requires a mix of fuel and oil to ensure a healthy lubrication of the engine and to prevent any overheating. Now for an important safety notice. Gasoline is an extremely explosive and flammable substance. So if you're mixing your fuel or fueling your engine, please ensure you're not smoking, not creating any sparks and flames, and importantly, not refueling your engine whilst the engine's running. Lastly, please ensure your fuel canister is at least 10 meters away from your engine before starting. When mixing and preparing your fuel, please always ensure that you're in an open, well-ventilated area away from any debris such as sand, dust, grass, or anything which might contaminate the fuel or block the passage of fuel within the engine. When fueling your engine, it's ideally recommended to use a filter. Or at the very least, please always ensure that your gas canister is free from any dirt or debris which may contaminate your fuel and block the passage of fuel within your engine. When purchasing fuel from your local gas station, always choose 95 octane unleaded gasoline. It's also important to note that any oil used should be fully synthetic, and Vitarazzi do not approve the use of semi-synthetic or mineral oils. In particular, Vitarazzi recommend the use of Motel 800 and Motel 710 oil. This is because both oils have been thoroughly tested by Vitarazzi and are approved with the use of their engine. Vitarazzi also do not recommend or recognise the use of additional liquids that raise the level of octane within your fuel. It's also important to note that we do not recommend using fuel that's been sitting unused for a prolonged period of time. For example, if a fuel mix was left unused for a period of two to four weeks, it is possible that the oil could separate from the fuel, reducing the lubrication, even if shaken properly. We would also recommend that you avoid mixing large quantities of fuel if you're conscious you're not going to use it at the time. Typically, when transporting your fuel, we would highly recommend the use of a metal gas can as opposed to plastic. This is because gasoline as a substance reacts to temperature change and plastic fuel tanks are more susceptible to expansion and contraction. Now for an important warranty notice. It's important to recognise that use of any non-synthetic oil, incorrect fuel and oil mix, any dirt or debris in your fuel or use of any octane enhancing agents could immediately invalidate your Vidarazzi warranty. Now let's cover the correct fuel and oil mix for your Vidarazzi and Atom engines. As I mentioned before, Vidarazzi recommend the use of Motel 800 and 710 fully synthetic oils as they've been thoroughly tested by Vidarazzi and are approved with use of their engines. Typically, the Motel 710 is recommended for moderate use for example in cross-country flying or in situations where you're not putting your engine into a max RPM for a prolonged period of time. Alternatively, the Motel 800 is recommended for frequent use, competition or freestyle flying and also in locations where the conditions are more extreme such as very hot or cold temperatures. When mixing the oil, we would typically recommend you have the following items available to you. Your fuel can, a fuel filter, a small mixing jug, and either the Motel 800 or 710 fully synthetic oil. It's important to recognise that the oil to fuel ratios will be different between Motel 710 and Motel 800 oil. The correct oil mixture for use with Motel 710 oil will be 2.5% or 40 to 1 for the first 15 litres or engine break-in and then following that 2% or 50 to 1 for any ongoing use. The correct fuel mixture for use with Motel 800 oil will be 2% or 50 to 1 for the first 15 litres or engine break-in, or 1.5% and 66 to 1 for all ongoing use. So let's use some real-world examples. If you have 10 litres of fuel and you're using the Motel 710 oil, for the first 15 litres you will use 250 millilitres and then for all ongoing use 200 millilitres for every 10 litres of fuel. With 10 litres of fuel and the Motel 800 oil, you would use 200 millilitres for the first 15 litres and then 150 millilitres for all ongoing use. To ensure an accurate oil measurement, as we discussed, we would recommend the use of a measuring jug. However, if you don't have a measuring jug, you can use the oil measurement index on the side of your container. 
Now let's build on what we've already talked about by covering some frequently asked questions. Which fuels are recommended for use with my Viterazzi engine? All Viterazzi engines are approved with Euro 95 octane gasoline with a maximum 10% ethanol ratio. Viterazzi has fully tested the limit of all mechanical parts and the maintenance schedule for the engine is calibrated on the basis of this fuel type. All membranes, rubbers and carburetor seals within the engine can tolerate a maximum alcohol percentage typical of Euro 95 octane fuel, which is 10% ethanol and 5% methanol. The fuel in my country doesn't meet the required standard. What are the risks and what can I do? All Viterazzi engines are tested and calibrated using Euro 95 octane fuel. Therefore, the use of inappropriate fuel with a higher ethanol percentage or lower octane level can cause the engine to run lean, overheat and result in serious damage to your engine. So therefore, in countries where the recommended octane fuel is not available, we would alternatively recommend the use of Avgas 100 LL aviation fuel in order to prevent any damage or risk to your engine. The use of Avgas in no way invalidates your warranty. Can I use 98 octane or higher octane fuels and do I get any more power? Special fuels such as 98 octane or higher octane fuels are acceptable and will ensure a good detonation and no damage to your engine. Although it's important to recognise you will receive no additional power benefit. So thanks for watching, we hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we look forward to you joining us in tutorial 3 when we walk you through how to brake in your engine and the effective warm-up procedure. See you soon.